Hi, hello, hey. Welcome back to part two. So, today I'm going to be doing some little swatches and then I'm going to see what colors I can mix. And I'm also going to be making a little swatch card to go in here. And then I'm going to do a painting. So yeah, I think I'm going to do like some paintings over here and then I'm going to do like a final illustration thing. So yeah, um, let's make the swatch card. Okay, so I'm just going to use... I don't remember what this little piece of paper is from, but it's from something and I saved it and um, now I'm going to use it. Okay, so it's about... Making swatch cards is like my least favorite thing. I like swatching the paints in my sketchbook, but like making the little card to actually fit in there is really annoying. Especially because as I've mentioned before, I'm extremely bad at cutting straight lines. And I'm trying to go speedier so it doesn't super boring. Okay, and I think if I round the tips out a little bit, it'll fit in there. Yep, that, that looks fine. Okay. Do, do, do. If you haven't noticed lately, I've been practicing with like um, real time videos and stuff. So, I don't know, I think they're fun. So I just say random things and it's so funny. Back when I was in like elementary school I went to like Waldorf school and they always used to make us like cut our paintings like the paper and we would have to like round out the corners like every time I don't know what it was but like every time before we started a painting in art class we had to round out the corners it was very important okay so I finished my little swatch card here and I'm also thinking, um, I'll swatch this side, but then under the color name, I should put a little, like, dot or line of the color, you know, so you know which color that is. And, um, <laughs> while I was, like, looking at the paint tubes, I found something. Okay, um, my phone just told me my phone's about to die, so, um, plugging that in. I love that I'm still recording this. Okay, there holding it like a pencil all right all right so i found something funny so here's the color name in english right uh-huh but then you go up <laughs> and it's spelled almost exactly the same i think except for the e and so when i was looking at the color i was like reading the top one and I was like that's a color name okay and then I realized that's not the English one <laughs> but yeah um I thought that was pretty funny I'm pretty sure um the top one on these is in German I think but I just thought that was hilarious especially because I saw this video like a couple days ago of like um just people talking about how German like the language sounds so intense and, um, yeah, <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> this sketchbook is, like, so hard to film with because it's so big, but I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay, do, 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 do. Ooh, okay. I say, like, I haven't used these paints before, but I forgot how pretty that is. I, okay, I should probably do the metallic one last because... Normally, you need to wait a second for that to be fully activated. I don't think these paints are fully dry, though, so it's probably fine. Okay, and then pretty brown color. I love it so much. It's like, okay, I'm, I should probably scoot this down a little bit, but I'm gonna have to, like, scoot it back up, so. Yeah. That darker shade. Okay, the blues are so nice. I forgot the Lucas colors. They are so pretty. They're just like so bright. Okay, that's pretty. 
and this is the black and this is like more of a um warm black oh my god wait <laughs> i forgot to write the brand for the black so funny i'm pretty sure that's the lucas one so i'm just gonna yeah okay it's a lucas one right i think so i'm gonna put that down here the Luga set that I got is cool because it comes with um, this black and it also comes with a pain gray, which is um, kind of like a, a bluey black color. So it has like a warm and a cool black, which is kind of awesome. But that set didn't come with a purple, which was really weird. So I added my own purple and it also didn't have like a nice red so i added my own red too but um yeah um fun facts um okay so now that that's done i'm gonna take a, a smaller paintbrush just to be careful when we're doing this and take a little bit of paint here and then some water so you can show the little faded out version Oh, I really don't have my light on in my room here. I should probably do that. Oopsie. Okay. Oh yeah, I literally just said I like to skip every other color and then I didn't do that. Oh, hopefully that doesn't backfire. Um little bit of this okay I love this brown so much it's so pretty love it okay and I'm also going to put a little bit more of the more pigmented glue up there than this one oh yeah oh no I just oops made a thicker print over there oh my god when i was doing the um the top of this thing the palette every time i touched it it would put in a fingerprint so i kept having to like smooth it out and you know it was kind of hard to hold when you weren't touching it <laughs> so i had to like hold the bottom but um yeah that was fun Okay, so I was also thinking, since there's two blues, what if for like my little character I'm gonna draw, what if like the skin tone is a blue? That'd be fun. And maybe like they had like the brown as their hair color and then like silver and yellow accents and then like their clothes were black. Like what do we think, huh? That sounds fun. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Okay, so here's a little setup. I have the four of them over here and then I'm gonna swatch the colors that I mix over here. So I don't need all four of these, but okay, wait. put this one in the main spot because I'm probably gonna use that the most. Okay, so first, let's see. So we have this color, which is the closest to red and this one which is the closest to yellow and then two blues so basically those are going to act as like the primary mixing colors and then the black can act as a color to darken those so i'm going to see if i can get like um a nice like normal brown color if that makes sense so we mix those two and then Try a little black and a little more of this. Maybe a little more. Maybe it's like a burnt sienna color, right? And then we have a dark brown. Nice. Okay, what um what if we add some blue to that? What does that do? Then we have more of like a a greeny color. Yeah, not very pretty. Okay, um, what if, what if we wipe this out first? 
what if we mix like the green with this yellow and the blues okay so i'm gonna take a little bit and put it over here too okay so this blue and the yellow make a bright green that's pretty i like that okay and what does the other blue the yellow do Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more um, pigment to that. So it's so yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty similar. Kind of see down there. I'm a little different. Other one's a lot brighter. Okay. Now, now here's the real test that's gonna actually change the game. Let's see if we can make a purple with um that brown color. That's like a pretty purple. Okay. So let's see, try it with this one. Add a little bit more. Okay, not quite a purple, but still very pretty. I like it, I like it. Okay. So I'll just put it over here. What if we try it with this one? And this, what do we have? Okay, that's definitely not a purple. That's like that's like a a black. That's kind of cool. Okay, um, what if we just try adding more of this to it? Then we have. I mean, that's purpley, but it's still a lot darker. Hmm. I think that's as close as we're gonna get to purple. So sad. I'm, hmm. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was gonna be brighter, but maybe I shouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Just doing it again. Okay, that still is a really pretty color though. What else can we mix here? I don't know. I can just mix all the colors together and see what happens. Because, you know, why not? Okay, let's do that. I'm just going to mix all the colors together. You know, it'll probably be like a black-brown, but, you know, still, might as well. Oops, it's a little too much. It's still a little too much. Then some silver. Some blue and some other blue put so much yellow it's like totally ruining my little mix here okay and this is a brown whoa who would have guessed <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna mix the silver with the black. Let's try that one. I'm totally like messing up my little thing here. Ooh, oh, you know what we could do? Okay, wait, I just had a really good idea. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty shiny. So what if, oops, I just kind of did that. What if we put in some of the yellow and some of the oh then we can get a shiny almost gold color okay i don't know if it looks very shiny on the paper but in the palette it does pretty okay so that's cool maybe you'll, maybe you'll be able to see it after it dries i don't know hopefully but yeah so that was a little fun mixing so I'm going to put those over here and so move this over even more. Actually, wait, why don't I move this over? Okay, it's over. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so now I can do some little sketches and try coloring them. Okay, and I'm gonna take an even smaller brush for this one. And do this little tiny brush. Okay, so move that paintbrush. Um, okay, so we have a brown. This is gonna be really hard to do without a red because I always make my skin tone super red and I like adding a bunch of blush. But with this brown being my only red, that's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, okay. That's not the worst. It's very muted though, which is not, not me. Okay, and I'm just gonna use what I already have in here. I'm just doing a little outline of all the hair strands, but over here, I'm going to make that darker. Okay, then whoop. Okay, and I think after I outline these, I'm going to um, put the part that I didn't color with a brighter blue. So I need to add some bright colors to use this one. Okay, that's really bright. Okay, add some more water to that first. Just don't want it to be too dark so you can't see that outline. You know, I was saying in the other part that this is a very beachy color scheme and you know what beaches and water color schemes make me think of in character form? They make me think of mermaids, so I might need to draw a mermaid. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, okay, wait, you can't, I just realized you can't see the top of this, oops. Okay, we have a little, a little character over here. Um, keep using this. You know, this isn't actually that bad. Look at that. <laughs> and I've learned when skin tones are looking kind of um, muted and you want to like brighten that up, if you just take some brighter colors and kind of just fade that out, it'll look a lot brighter. So I'm going to try to do that. Okay, still looking kind of messy, but it's okay. Take tinier paintbrush. Get into serious business now. And then I'm going to add some more detail to the hair. And I do kind of like the muted color, so mix that. And just going with another layer here. I feel like her hair is looking pretty good. Very bouncy.
You know, I feel like this color scheme would be, like, better if you were doing landscapes. Maybe it wouldn't because you have, like, a random silver. I don't know. Do landscape artists use metallic colors? <laughs> I don't know what you would use them for if you're drawing a landscape. Okay, um, tinier paintbrush. I'm trying to do the face here. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to the hair. I'm gonna add some strands. Really get that detail. And then, whoop. Okay, so here's a little sketch. I kind of changed the pose halfway through, so it's kind of, it's kind of weird, but, you know, maybe the colors can save it. Oh yeah, and I also, like, just remembered I didn't add little shinies to this, so I'm just doing that real quick, because, you know, that is crucial step right here, so, mm. yeah. Okay, so, she's kind of growing on me, this one. I like it, I like the hair. Alright, so, wait, oh my god, I forgot to add front hairs. <gasps> How could I do such a thing? Okay, okay, so we have this. I think I'm gonna make her tail yellow, and I guess, why am I starting with a tiny brush? I was gonna just go for it, but that's a bad idea. Starting with the bigger brush. Wait, clean this one off a little better first. Okay, clean that one off. Then we're gonna start with this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try to have yellow be the main color. Cause the last one, like the blues were the main color. We're gonna try yellow. Okay, what if I did like, what if the main colors in this one are yellow and green? So mix. Let's try to get that, yeah. Nice bright green color. Very nice, very nice. And then I think I want the Ooh, okay, what if we have like a gold color to be like the the top? You can't even see what I'm mixing. Okay, well that's more brown. I need more gold. Gold. And then add some silver. Oh, the poor silver is not very dry. Okay. And then that is going to be our color. You know, that actually does look pretty cold, gold. Then. She has very poopy sleeves. I'm going to just fill that in. Okay, and then she has a little bracelet, so I'm gonna make that silver. Do, do, do. And maybe I make her hair like a dark blue. <laughs> Other girl has blue hair too. But no, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be dark, okay? Dark blue. Ooh, okay, what if what if I made it like dark blue and then it like fades out to um the other color, the brown color? Let's do that. Okay, I turned on the light and I filled in the base color for the skin tone. So now I'm just gonna add some more shading. And, um, I don't even know I'm going on with the tail. So, okay, I think I'm going to outline the tail with this yellow color. And then I'm going to add the scales in with the green that I mixed. So, 
so that will be the outline and then you kind of fade out the color a little bit and then this color is so bright I need to add it somewhere else to balance it out so we're gonna make the eyes that color and also her little fish ear thing and I think I'm gonna also add to the bris a little bit because we need to stand out and then I'll add some shading to the shirt thing okay I actually like really really like this gold color I mixed I think it's really pretty I don't even know why but I really like it <laughs> Don't think it's shiny though, because I don't think I added enough silver, and I don't even know if, um, if I did add enough silver if it would do anything. But I still think it's pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to add another layer to her hair. Some water to that. You know. I'm kind of digging this color scheme a little bit. I don't use muted colors very often, and these colors all mix together to be kind of muted colors, so very fun. Okay, I think adding this layer is gonna take me a minute. So I'm gonna just come back when I'm done adding the layer to the hair. Okay, a little, little time skip. I added another layer to the hair and another layer to the skin. And I think I'm just gonna finish the shirt and then the tail. And then I'll move on to drawing something down here. And I'm realizing this might have been easier if I, you know, used a pen to do an outline or something. Because doing these little tiny details is not fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but it doesn't look right exactly. Okay, so... I guess we'll mix that green color. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and I'm just gonna color in the eyes. And then... I'm sorry I'm not talking much. I like have no idea what to say about this. I'm just kind of going. Okay, one thing I will say is after I finish this one, I kind of want to try giving someone um, yellow hair, you know, and just try to like make that picture like super bright and maybe give them like a blue outfit. But I think I only have room for like one more down there. And if I do that, I won't be able to go with my original idea and then like practice that before I do the final picture. But I could also just do that and then just kind of wing it on the final picture, which is what I'm thinking to do. You know, why not just wing it to go crazy? But I think that looks good. And then I think I'm going to gel pin that um, brace of lasso stands out a little bit better. Then I'm gonna add some green over here. Okay, so she's looking that way. And... Ah, you see that? Are you kidding me? Again? How come every... Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was gonna be out of lead. I was like, are you kidding me? I just filmed, just did this. Oh, we're good. Okay, so...
not talking right now. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I did it again. Okay, so... Face. She's gonna be looking that way dramatically. Don't like that nose. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, and then. I'm just giving them all kind of like the same face. <laughs> I know how to paint the space and it's fun, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Okay, um, hair. She has some bangs on this side and then on this side she has longer bangs that's not even bangs front hairs is that just called front hairs does it have like an actual name because like i mean i feel like it's just called front hairs but i feel like that's also not like the the appropriate term i don't know and then maybe she has some more front hairs, like, down here. That's fun, right? <laughs> oh my god, what if? Okay, sorry, I'm giving her a witch hat. She's a witch now. <laughs> I was thinking of hats, and all I could think of was witch hat. So, she's a witch. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, what if what if she has like a corset top? Because you know witches and their corset tops they're always wearing. I was probably gonna give her a corset top even if I didn't make her a witch, but I don't know what I was gonna say to that. But yeah, um oh be a little bit. Okay, okay, um, I feel like this isn't like what corsets look like, but it's what, um, my corset looks like, you know, the one I just drew, so, yeah, take that. <laughs> I was about to make a joke about me talking to myself, but like, if I wasn't talking to myself, I feel like this video would be pretty boring, so. Ooh, should I give her gloves? I love gloves. Gloves are so, they're just so classy, you know? They're really annoying to wear, but they're so classy. Ooh, is she gonna have like a choker? You can't even see her neck. Okay, so maybe she has like a choker and she has like a little thing hanging off, which is just a circle because um, I don't want to make it too detailed. So yeah, that's our little witch. Look at her, look at her go. Wait, no, to add more. More detail. Okay little little bell buckle thing and then she has also one on her hat because witches always have a bell buckle thing on their hat you know but like she also has a bow on her hat where would i add that over here yeah because you know <laughs> that makes sense that looks really ugly okay never mind she doesn't have a bow on her hat trying to like add something creative to it but that did not look good so forget being creative okay witch lady okay so it's been like an hour or something and i'm just gonna add the little shinies and then i will be done but yeah um i kind of love this way the way this turned out and I'm thinking that this set is really good for like drawing um, magical things <laughs> that even make sense. I think it does because you got like, um, you got the blues and you got like the, the black. Parents are talking downstairs. Um, you got like the black and then you have like this really like oops bright yellow color and then you can mix like a really good green you know 
and I like it. <laughs> Although that brown color is, I really, I like it, but I feel like I would prefer if it was like a purple or a red or something. You couldn't tell. I might have added, I might have added too many little shinies to the hair. Oops. Okay, that looks good. So, oh wait, nah. Do this. Looks that. That looks better. Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, one more thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the video, and um, I'm not doing the final painting so i think you know what's coming but um yeah there's gonna be another part i will do that final picture but i want the process to be like detailed and not skipping parts so i'm gonna have that be another video i really hate to do this again like i want to be done with this video so bad but um yeah, and the annoying part too is I took out like so many parts while I was filming this and editing. Like, uh, like I probably like had to edit out like half the video and it's still like so long. So yeah, um, I'm really sorry about this, but um, stay tuned for when I finally get to do the picture and it better be the next video. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna post another video about this if the next thing isn't the final thing i won't post <laughs> but yeah um so i see it see you then i'm sorry <laughs>